I just found out why the director of Gladiator, Ridley Scott, completely switched your stance on AI generated videos and you're about to find out too. Because I just discovered Nim, a brand new all-in-one AI video platform that can literally compress weeks of work into just a few seconds. Because it's absolutely insane. With just a single prompt, Nim can generate full scenes and audio in just a few seconds. And it can handle a bunch of different use cases. From realistic scenes with cinematic b-roll to custom animated sequences complete with lip sync and sound effects. And for those of you that don't know Nim, it has some insane features. For example, it allows you to access over 15 different models from one platform that covers any content style so you don't have to juggle multiple tools. They have built-in editors. They have things like sharpening filters, lighting tweaks, simulated camera movements, color correction, scene merging, and so much more. They also allow for flexible content creation. You could turn images into videos or you could generate new images and new videos with just text prompts. On top of that, they have AI-assisted prompting, so Nim can suggest to write prompts for you if you get stuck, which will save you time on brainstorming and creative blocks, and they have cloud-based speed. Essentially what this means is that Nim runs in the cloud so that you don't have to buy any additional hardware. You could use this straight from your computer or from your phone. So let's dive into exactly how to use this, and then I'm gonna walk you through five insane use cases that are gonna blow your mind. Now, getting started with Nim is actually incredibly easy. You're literally just going to come to Nim Dot video, you're going to click on try now right here and you are going to log in. So we're going to log in and then you can see how easy it is to actually get started. First, we could click on create right here and we could choose what we actually want to do. We can make an image or a video, we can upscale something, we could add in a lip sync, we could describe something, add sound, we could restyle a video, you could access keyframes or create something in slow motion. And what you could do is come down here and see a bunch of different projects that were actually created. Now, what we could do from here is do image to video, we could do character reference, we could have this generate a random prompt if we wanted to choose a random prompt, we could add in different things here to the prompt, we could describe different things. For example, you could get a prompt from an image or a video, and if you click right here, you'll see that you can turn on auto enhance prompt style and you could change how the prompt style is actually going to be. We could choose between video and image, we could choose which model we're actually we're going to use here. And then you can also choose the format that it's going to be generated in and the length that you are going to be creating. You can make five seconds, 10 seconds, and you can add in a negative prompt here. So if there are things that you don't want to happen in the video or in the image, you could add that in here. For example, adding something in like don't have it be low quality. Now, if you come into Explore right here, you are gonna be able to see a bunch of different things. For example, if you wanna see POV related videos, you would click into here and you would be able to see a bunch of different POV videos that were created. For example, this one right here, and you'll be able to see the prompt that was used right here. You'll be able to see the aspect ratio, the resolution, and the negative prompt that was actually added in here. Now from here, we could copy this or we could remix this if we wanted to. And if we come into spaces right here, you'll be able to see a bunch of other different spaces. For example, different memes, history, horror, cartoon world, whatever you're trying to create, I'm sure that you're gonna be able to find a space or be able to find it in Explore right here and actually see what prompts or what styles actually create the best things here. Now, let's come over to create right here because what I want to do is I wanna create some B-roll for one of my YouTube videos. In fact, I'm making a YouTube video on another channel that has a chef cutting up sushi. So what I'm gonna put is chef cutting up a ton of sushi rolls. Now. I wanna show off this right here, which is gonna be rewrite. So I'm gonna click on rewrite, and this is gonna go through, and this is actually going to rewrite this prompt right here, and you could see that this is a way more in-depth prompt, and that's why this is actually gonna work a little bit better. In addition to that, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna choose Cling Pro for what is actually gonna be used here. In fact, I'm actually gonna use Cling 2.0 because I'm gonna click on that, and we need to this to be one by one. And if we add the negative prompt right here, I'm just gonna put in here, no low quality. Now we're gonna click on generate right here, and what's going to happen is you could see that this is queued up, and once this is done, when this reaches 100%, we'll be able to see exactly what this generates. 
generated. Okay, so now this is actually done. It has gone ahead, it has created this video, and as we could see here, we could change a bunch of different things about it. We could add sound, we could edit the clips, we could come into more tools right here to be able to make it slow motion, to restyle it. We could reuse these inputs and actually create another version, add lip sync, upscale, do anything like that. So if we come over here, we could actually see what this is going to look like. And as we can see, this looks super realistic. It's zooming in, it is cutting up sushi, but there are a few things that I want to add to this. For example, I want to be able to add over here sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on sound and I'm gonna describe the sound. So I'm gonna say, I want a chopping sound, like a knife chopping food. Now. What we could do is come over here and we can change the audio right here. We could add in negative controls and what we could do is rewrite if we wanted to enhance this prompt. So I'm gonna click rewrite right here. So generate a series of sharp rhythmic chopping sounds mimicking the action of a knife, skillfully slicing through various ingredients. Now what we could do here is click generate and this is gonna go ahead and this is actually going to create the sound for this clip. And this is what makes Nim so powerful. I'm able to do all of these things from within just a single tool right here and be able to update my video with sound, with being able to upscale it, being able to restyle it, being able to add in lip sync or anything else that I wanna to add to just one video from one platform and it's super efficient. So we click right here, we will now be able to see this with the chopping sound. Now, as we can see, that sounds super realistic. It sounds awesome. And it even sounds like it's going with the pace of the knife actually cutting through right here. Now, if I wanted to export this, literally all I have to do is click on download right here and I will be able to download this. Now it is going to download with the watermark if you haven't upgraded to pro, but it's still crazy that I was able to do all of this without having a pro plan. And this is what this is actually gonna look like once it's done. I'm gonna have this file right here. We can see that it's five seconds long. We can see that the sound is attached here and I'll be able to then use this within my content. Now, one other thing that I did want to call out is that Nim is getting a complete UX redesign on May 15th, which is going to make the tool way easier to use, and it's going to increase your efficiency when you're actually using the tool. And this right here that I've been showing is a sneak peek of that. Okay, so now let's get into my five favorite ways for you to actually be able to use this tool. Now, the first use case that I love this for is creating high converting ads using Nim because Nim can take a single image and turn it into an eye-catching video ad. For example, you could take a static Instagram photo and automatically generate a dynamic video ad complete with visuals and backgrounds. So if we click right here, we're going to be able to see that this is a static photo on Instagram right here. Now, guess what we're able to do with Nim we can come in here, write a good prompt, and look at what this does. This turned a static photo into a video of this person coming off of the screen, which is insane. This would be a great ad to use because it's going to capture people's attention. And as we could see here, this is the prompt that they use. This is the negative prompt. And if we wanted to change anything about this, guess what? Just like anything else, we could come in here and change whatever we want. Use case number two is going to be using this for cinematic VFX and B-roll for content creators. So I have a few different examples here, and like I shared with you earlier, I actually use this for my own content. So this right here created some B-roll of somebody going up against right here, this robotic entity right here that's pretty crazy. Now, if we come over here, we'll see another example of this so that you could show off that there are things that look cartoonish like this cat running down a city or something like this that is going to be more superhero related. Or if we come back over here and come into Explorer, we could find other things that look a lot more realistic or that look really crazy like this cat right here. There are so many different styles and so many different opportunities here. Like look at how realistic this looks with a bunch of waves crashing up against this beautiful house 
with the ocean here. No matter what kind of B-roll you're trying to create, no matter what vibe you're going for, Nim's gonna be able to do it. Now use case number three is gonna be turning any image into a restyled clip, for example, cartoon, anime, cyberpunk, and I have a few different examples here, like this one right here. This took an image and this turned this into a cartoon right here in this specific style right here. Now, if we click into this right here, we will be able to see the exact prompt that they use and everything that it actually did here. And again, this is pretty crazy because it took an image and turned it straight into this cartoonish style. And another example of this is this building this in this anime right here with energetic electric guitar riffs and an upbeat rhythmic drumming. And as we can see, that's exactly what this represents right here. Now, I know a lot of the use cases that I've shared with you have all been video related, so I wanted to use case number four to be around using this to create images because you can also use this to create images. For example, let's say that I wanted to create an image of a cat stuck in a tree. I'm literally just going to come over here. I'm going to type in cat stuck in a tree. I'm going to click rewrite so that this rewrites the prompt for me, and I'm going to change the model that I'm going to be using. Personally, I like GPT image, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to change this to have this be to three right here. I'm going to click generate and this is going to go ahead and this is actually going to create this. Now while this is doing this, I want to show off the last and final use case because NIM isn't only about creating the videos that you want or creating the images that you want. It's also about using the explore and the spaces tab right here in order to look through a bunch of different things in order to get different use cases. For example, 90s nostalgia, I have seen this going viral like crazy on Instagram right now because people have been generating things about living in the 90s and pre-internet and all things like that. You can see things that are hot, you can see things that are new. Again, if you click into these, you'll be able to see exactly what prompt they used. Or you could come through here and explore all of the different things that are being created with NIM. And I would strongly suggest using this space in order to get a bunch of inspiration. I mean, think about it. We have this little dragon looking thing right here. We have a horse right here. And then we have this ultra realistic right here. And then we have Leonardo DiCaprio walking down a runway with an owl. And then literally over here, we have this insane point of view motorcycle riding video. So the opportunities are absolutely endless. Whatever you can think about, NIM is going to be able to create for you. And if we come back over here, we could see right here that this is done generating the image of this cat terrified stuck in this tree. And if we wanted to right now, we would be able to edit it. We would be able to turn it into a video or we'd be able to rework this if we didn't actually like how it looked. Now, if you're ready to try NIM, I'd strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below or the link in the description so that you could get started creating AI generated content in the easiest way possible. Because after watching this video, you should never pay for stock footage ever again. By the way, for the first 50 people that sign up at the pinned comment, you're gonna get a discount and 200 free credits. And if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here that walks you through a brand new AI agent that allows you to automate your emails. I'll see you over there.